Now, around a dozen people have been injured in southern Lebanon after a huge explosion rocked a Palestinian refugee camp in the port city of Tyre. Lebanese media say the blast occurred at a weapons depot of the Palestinian militant group Hamas inside the camp. Security sources say a fire triggered by the explosion has now been brought under control. And for more, we can talk to Anne Chalvora in Beirut. She's the Middle East columnist with Foreign Policy magazine. Anne Chal, thanks for your time. What more do we know at this point about the blast? Well, you know, this uh, incident, uh, uh, Anya, yet again reveals how this country is grappling with myriad crises and how these crises often lead to disaster. There's a fuel crisis here, so people are buying fuel when they get, can get their hands on it. And in this case, there was a tank full of diesel. This diesel tank apparently first caught fire, and then this fire spread to a mosque, which, uh, uh, according to what we've learned, uh, had weapons uh, that belonged to Hamas, which is a Palestinian militant uh, slash political group, as it is uh, uh, sort of referred to here. Uh, and uh, that is what caused these injuries. Now, the state media said that there have been casualties too, but so far there is no numbers to, you know, how many uh, casualties there are. But as you earlier mentioned, a dozen people uh, have, in fact, suffered injuries. An interesting uh, note there I'd like to add that an Israeli think tank, and this is a think tank that sort of looks at uh, the security in the in the region regarding Israel has said has rather claimed uh, that this was a training complex of uh, uh, the uh, Palestinian movement or militant group Hamas. This, of course, isn't the only Palestinian refugee camp in Lebanon. Can you uh, tell us a little bit more about them, the situation there? Well, absolutely. There are about a dozen Palestinian camps, and most of these camps are cramped, very congested uh, areas. This is believed to be the second most uh, congested camp in all of Lebanon. It is quite near the border. Uh, uh, we also sort of, uh, you know, uh, we know that Hamas has weapons. We know that the security in these camps is the responsibility of the Palestinians, and that is because of the long civil war that this country has faced, a 15 years long civil war, and the Palestinians and Lebanese have had several issues in the past. So security in these camps is essentially the task of either Palestinian Liberation Organization, Fatah, or Hamas. So the Lebanese armed forces actually cannot go in. So you've got a situation where there are a lot of people, uh, uh, civic communities are, uh, you know, a rare thing, and uh, uh, there are groups with weapons. Anchal Vora in Beirut, thank you so much for that update.